So my name is Moritza, I will be hosting Mr. Florjančić. Uh, it's actually not true that he doesn't speak English. Um, Torej, gospod Florjančić, kateri angliške besede poznate? Ker ni res, da ne govorite angliško? No. Jaz ne govorim angliško, samo štiri besede znam. In to Metro Goldwyn Mayer. <laughs> no, upam, da bomo imeli vsi tak smisl za humor pri 94 letih. Uh, skratko, gospod Poljančić imel tudi um, neverjetno otroštvo. So, um, he had an amazing childhood as well. Uh, his aunt owned the castle in Bled and his mother owned a lot of prominent hotels. So, my first question to him will be, what kind of a childhood does one need to have to become a world famous inventor? Torej, uh, moje prvo vprašanje, kakšno je bilo vaše otroštvo oziroma kaj, kaj bi bilo fino, da ima otrok, da lahko postane tako silovit um, inventor, kot ste vi. Ja, ta prvo, jaz sem imel krasno mladost. Imel sem priliko na bledu, sem se igral, sem bil mlad, sem se igral po tepo in sem se igral Tarzana in sem se naredil ta prve reči, sem lovil ribe, ja, sem imel moje sisteme, kako ujame ribo in eh, tako sem za, začel kot mladši študirati, ko ga bi naredil, ja. Okay, so as a child, he said he had a fantastic childhood living in the nature here in Bled. And his first inventions were kind of to do with being a Tarzan. So how to get from one tree to another and how to catch squirrels and fish in a natural way without the, the same uh, as we do today. Yeah, ker sem bil Tarzan, tudi nisem nikoli mislil, da bom Tarzan, a Johnny Weissmiller jaz poznal v Monte Carlo. Ja, in sem bil zelo vesel takrat, samo njegovo afno očito, ki je živela 80 let, pa nisem spoznal. <laughs> so, he never actually thought he would meet Mr. Tarzan, Johnny Weissman himself, uh, but he did in Monte Carlo, but his bad luck was that he didn't meet the cheetah, although she, uh, <laughs> the monkey, although she died at uh, 80 years old. Moram vam pa povedati, da sem ta naj... Tanaj je sem se igral na Machine Singer. To je bila za mene ta najlevš izumitel in ta najvejš, jaz se zmeram probiral v to mašino, sem vse sorte pripravil, zravo naredil in tudi nisem vedel, da bom gospoda, pravnoka od gospoda Singerja v njegovi vili v Monte Carlo spoznal. In potem sem šele zvedel, da je bil to ta prav izumitel. In mu je so, <laughs> for those of you who didn't understand, uh, as, a, uh -huh. so, as a child, one of his um, marks was that he used to play with the singer or knitting machine, uh, and this to him was a source of fascination, and that's how he also learned to be very technical. And a lot of his inventions, uh, early inventions, were to do with knitting machines. What he didn't know was that he was later on to meet also the um, uh, the grandson of Singer um, in Monte Carlo. And he says that his main, so Mr. Singer's main inventions were the fact that he had 44 children. Um, and you can check this out on the internet, he says, it's true. So, prašala nasledno vprašanje. In sicer pri vaših izumih, Ali je bilo na ključe, da so bili tako uspešni? Ali je potrebno iti čez nek postopek oziroma kakšen, da se zagotovimo, da je naš izum uspešen? So my next question to him was, what, what, what does it take for an invention to be successful on the market? Is it pure luck? Or is there a series of steps that one needs to take in order for his invention to be successful? Ja, jaz vam moram povedati, da sem vse jaz na največ naučil v Nemčiji, ker sem bil 35 let v Nemčiji, sem bil tudi nemški vrovaz, državljan, in gri se še na ali dojče, in pa dojče štacberge, ali in dojče rame, pa in nasekla. Jaz sem bil tudi nemški državljan, ja, in sem se to največ naučil v Nemčiji, in to primeliti. Familia Benz. Ok, so this is going to be an interesting story, I will just uh, cut it off here. So he learned most of his um, stuff regarding inventions in Germany um, at Miss Melita's house. 
Ja. Ja, povemam pa to, da sem se te največ naučil pri Militi. Poznal sem staro mamo Militi, Milito takrat. Ta, ona je izumela Milita filter. So, Milita's grandmother or Milita invented the Milita filter. Poznal sem familijo Benz, smo bili prijatelji. Ja. So, he was friends with the Benz family. Ja. In z tega filtera, z tega izuma, ja je ratlo podjetje Milita, ki ima danes 3 milijarde premeta. So with this filter, the company Milita has 3 milijon euros of revenue. In Milita je imela ta prav sistem. Oni so imeli en biro, ki so gledali za trg. Kjer reči imajo trg. In to je ta najbolj važen, da vi pogledate trg. In za tist trg morate narediti en produkt, ki ga lahko zaščitite. Ker danes brez zaščite ni več eksistence. So, they had their office, which then prepared market research, so they could create items that would actually fit the market based on a niche. And that's how you have to do it. So you have to have a look at the market niche, and if a product doesn't exist, you need to protect it. So, what kind of a market did Milita target? Yeah. Delo sem pa, da so največ firme, ko za verige šliper, ja, bil sem zelo prijatel, pa da sem delal za Manesmana, sem delal za Battenfelda, pa da sem delal za Zakodaka, sem delal za Akta, sem delal In v Garmišu sem pa delal za Gajmoplasta, ki smo naredili Dijaromček, Dijaromček. In ta človek je veroval v mene in razvoj tega romčka je poštal 2 milijona mark. So he went through all the companies that he worked for and one of his most famous inventions was the the diaphragm, so for the when there used to be uh, the air projectors, and that cost two million uh, Deutschmarks to actually develop. Um, but I'm going to ask him the question again. Yeah, yes, in part, I'm with the military shoes and the low polar chilo, and eh. Oni so mene poklicali, recimo, jaz sem delal za Babkoga, ki sem ta največ, ta največ za inžul dobil, je bil Babkog. Zate sem naredil nov za piralni sistem za te stroje, plastične stroje. In ko sem naredil to, sem naredil perfektni model in perfektno prezentacijo in še danes se točno spolnil, kljub temu, da sem zelo star, se točno spolnil, da sem prišel kaj, pokazal perfektno, ker vi samo lahko enkrat pridete kaj in samo enkrat pokazate, dvakrat ne morate priti. In tukaj sem pa dobil, za mene takrat 74 leta sem dobil en milijon in po mark. In men se je zmešal. So, <laughs> takrat je bilo 500 tisoč marke je bilo loto. Pa leta zračunite, ko jaz sem dobila. Ok, um, so at first he started working um, custom made, so when customers came to him, he did it for them. Uh, but later on he realized that when he started doing his own inventions, that when you have an invention, you need to go to the top player on the market, uh, your presentation and your product need to be perfect because you don't get a second chance uh, to, to go to that customer again. And in 74, he sold one of his inventions for one million, million uh, one and a half million Deutschmarks. Um, and at that time, the lottery was half a million. So the first prize on the lottery was half a million. And that's when he went crazy. Direktor banka ni verjel, da je to toliko in ko sem drugi dan k njem prišel, sem dobil zlato kartico in da jaz sem ko išel modeno, da bi Ferrarija kupil. Ampak ker sem videl, da je blond Ferrarija. 
No, that's for the bank. <laughs> so he's full of stories. So he took the money to the bank. The bank didn't really believe him, but the next day, because banks are, of course, proactive as well, they gave him a gold credit card. And so that kind of sent him um, on a shopping spree, but that's also another question, he said, another story. Um, my next question will be, does the Slovene have to go abroad? So he, uh, Mr. Florianchic lived abroad for 60 years. And uh, so do we have to actually go abroad to be valued and that our work is valued? Torej, ali moramo Slovenci v Tujino, tako kot ste šli vi, da postanemo oziroma da smo ocenjeni in da so naši izumi oziroma delo ocenjeni? Ne. Vsak je izumitno. Vsak mu je izumitno. In vse je izum. Kako kot spoznaš žensko, kako je enega glupaš, vse je izum. In jaz mislim, da če se eden malo okolj gleda, vsak lih ogostil skozi oken, ke, noge, vse, jaz sem prišel v Monte Carlo, sem gledal ženske, so staške je zel. En dva povezati. Samo malo, bomo tukaj malo zgončali. So, everything is an invention. You know, picking up women is an invention. And you just need to look around you to see what you can make better. And so when he went to Monte Carlo, he was looking around, uh, usually at women. He realized that when they take um, perfume out of their bags, that there is a problem, and he will now explain what that is. Torej, ženske so iz torbice je male. Ste vi opazovali, kaj in kako ste vi to potem rešili? Kako mislite se? Končali, prekinila sem vas, ko ste opazovali ženske v Monte Carlo. One so odpirale svoje torbice. Ja. In potem vaša zgodba naprej. So odprle torbice. In so imeli velike pumpe, sem rekel, zdaj se mora narediti ena mehno reč, za otoško, elegantno reč. In koga, zakaj sem postal izumitelj tudi, da sem se dolše izumitelj, imam 94 let, sem star, 75 let delovne dobe, sem 70 let oženen z isto, ja, To je tudi izum. Ja. So mora da povem to zdaj, ja. So he realized that women are taking perfume out of their bag, but they're using these large spray things, so he thought he would make it more efficient. And he's actually the inventor, and he still has this bottle of the first perfume spray that we know today. This bottle still sits on his table. I know that because I visited him a couple of years ago. And he says that he has 75 years of work. He is married to the same woman for 70 years, and even that is an invention. Naprej? Torej, 70 let ste poročeni, 75 let imate delovne dobe. Ja. In tudi to je vse izum. Tudi to je vse izum. In to vam moram nekaj povedati. V življenju je ta najbolj važen tole, kar se pove. V pravem sekundi na pravem mestu. So, in life, uh, it is the most important thing to be in the right time at the right place, which he often was, because as I, uh, I was talking to him before, having a coffee, um, when you're an inventor, you also need to have someone who will fund your inventions. You know, the invention can be a success, which means you get paid, but kind of 90% of the stuff that you do invent is not successful on the market, so who's going to pay for that? Jaz sem jim zdaj še vmes povedala, kar sem mi dva na kavi prej pogovarjala, da je za uspešnim izumiteljem potreben tudi uspešen financer. Ker 90 odstotkov izumov se ne proda na trgu, torej nekdo mora to financirati. Kdo je financiral vas v življenju? Jaz sem patentiral 400 patentov in 41 je bilo dobro. In s tem 41 je zaslužil Sem imel pet državljancev, sem zaslužil sedem hiš, sem zaslužil. V Ferencah, v Monte Carlo, v Filahu, v Garmišu, v najlepši, najlepši mest je pa bil Montre, v Švici, v Glijonu. Moj sosed je bil skoraj Charles Chaplin. 82 let je imel otroka, Geraldine. Ja, tudi zum. 
<laughs> so he had 400 patents and 41 were really successful. And he's just he had seven houses. He's listed listed off the places. I think he understood. He was nearly a neighbor to Charlie Chaplin, who had a child at 82, which is again an invention. But my question will be more specific now. Who specifically financed him? Because he had very interesting and famous financiers. Če mi lahko prosim poveste, kdo točno vas je financiral? Vemo, da ste imeli prijatelje. Ja, zdaj moram povedati, v Monte Carlo sem bil na pravom mestu, v pravom momentu, v Monte Carlo Beach. In tam to moram, ne moram povedati, zgodbo, to bi mi mogli prispati v hotel v Pari. Ampak tam sem spoznal kraljevo familijo Egipta. So one of his early finance, we would have to stay here for a week if we wanted to hear all his stories. But one of his early financiers was uh, the king of Egypt, which he befriended in Monte Carlo. Yeah, in that Kraljeva family, me financiero pa prviče hoto kupet tam Ilhami Pasha, ki je bil ženjen z mačeho od kralja Faruka, ja. Mi mu troke hoto kupet mojo hščerko. So he didn't have children and he wanted to buy his daughter, which he didn't sell to him. Ki je verjetno niste prodali mu? Jaz nisem prodal, sem rekel gospod Excellenc, naredimo en kap, jaz sem izumitil, ja, naredimo en kap en posu. Ok, so, you know, he's an inventor, so I'm not going to sell you my daughter, but let's have a company together. Ja, in med vas va naredila en društvu velik, velik narja. Ja, in ta društvo se je imel Florijančič, Ilham je Flor Ilham. So the company was Florinham, Florijančič in... Ilham je Husi in Paša. So they did have a company together? Ja. Funded with lots of money? Tam je bilo pa, samo primer vam povedal, koliko nare je bilo. V salon privel v Monte Carlo so igrali s ploščačami, s ploščačami, od 50 tisoč švicarskih frankov. To je bilo ogromen denarja, ena plošča, milijon dveset. Če sem su menil za kralja, je trebilo en milijon, če eno ploščo važa, da oni prišli. Ja, ampak vam povem to, da se mi enkrat je tako ekscelent. S tako ploščo jaz naredim fabriko. Je vzel ploščo, mi je rekel naredi fabriko. Bole morate misliti, da se mi mu financerje, ki so plačovali moje napake. In če ne bi mu tako financerje, bi tudi propadil, moram tudi reči. Ja. So, he was heavily funded by the king himself. So, in the casino, they had boards, which were worth 50,000. 500 tisoč? 500 tisoč, tako 50,000. And he would just have a stack of them, and he told the king, Listen, I, with one of these boards, I could start a company. So he just threw one to him, okay, go and do it. Uh, and so as, uh, he was heavily funded, he admits that, and he also admits that he did make a lot of mistakes which uh, his co-financers did fund. So it is an expensive business being an inventor, um, but as he said, he was in the right place at the right time. Because I only have a couple of minutes to finish, um, I would like to ask him for one last word. Torej, samo še par minut imava do konca. Torej, kaj bi vi radi za konec, sad si mu povedali? Do konca? Ja, ali pa za konec našem občinstvu? Ja, prerokvala, jaz sem prišel umreti na bled. So he came to die to bled. Jaz sem prišel pre zgodej, 13 let čakam. So, he's been waiting around for 13 years and nothing has happened, so he came too soon. Ja, in... Prerokvala me je pa prerokvalka, da bom jaz toliko časa živel, kot na otek stopnic. So, he went to a fortune teller once, or she met him once, and she said he will live as many as there are stairs. Ki jih je pa koliko? Jih je 99. There are 99. In jaz imam enega arhitekta, da bi še pa reh naredil. So, he's hired an architect, he's gonna more steps than just 99. A veste kaj, moram, a lahko nekaj malo tako povedi. Seveda lahko. Ha? Kar? Vse? Ja, ne. Ne. A hočete? Kar povedi? To je resnica. Sem predaval v Podnovartisu v Ukranski gori in na zadnje mi je direktor ponudil Viagro. Sem pa rekel, hvala lepa, enkrat na dan imam dost. 
so to finish his stories off, he had a meeting with uh, Lick, it's one of our two main uh, pharmaceutical companies, and the director asked him, can I offer you Viagra? And Mr. Ferranti said, do you know what? I don't need it. Once a day is plenty for me. Thank you very much. <laughs>